What's up, Lathe Nation? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. There's good, the, the thing is, there's gonna be a couple of people who have never watched any of my videos and think that I genuinely address the audience as what's up, late nation. And we're going with that. That's that's not my tagline. None of this right lads anymore. Um we're just we're the we're late nation. I don't know what that means. I don't know how it works, but it is who we are. Anyway, moving on very swiftly, we're playing a song high. West Africa is a uh, period uh, a, a period a, a place in E4 that has not really gotten that much love um, since, well, I suppose there was Origins uh, and they, and, well, there's gold here. But I think it was, I think it was uh, just Songhai and Mali. In sort of patch one, there used to be just two nations here. Um, <laughs> so West Africa really was not playable. Songhai is a nation with uh, a decent enough mission tree, better than most actually. Uh, and we even get ourselves some feudalism immediately if we can get at least nine per month, which I'm fairly certain we can do off the that if i'm correct two more and then two more yeah we should be able to do that pretty easily uh, is that it our reform progress at least 25 okay so mali starts in a disaster and we're going to try and take advantage of that by well murdering everyone songhai's ideas are pretty good we start out with infantry combat ability i'm happy with that global trade power not terrible fort defense not terrible rival army is pretty good institution spread eh yearly prestige there eh. Torrance through faith is okay, and Karen power plus 20% is actually a lot stronger than you might think. And then at the end of it, we get discipline plus 5%. So my general aim is I'm going to run rampant around here, and then I'm probably going to head north and uh, go and kick the hell out of the Iberians. We're going to go super militaristic, so expansionist in this. I mean, that's that's the fun way of doing this one. Because I think in West Africa, because no one else can see us, if you can out-expand that initial coalition that will form of sort of these nations here, because uh, they're the ones I don't have access to, well, these ones down here, then, yeah. It's over. I was about to focus military. That would have been a horrible, horrible idea. I think I'm going to focus admin this time around. Usually I don't. Now, let's get aggressive expansion impact. Even though the merchant's probably better, we're going to go expansion impact. Also going to get neighbor raid, which means we can, uh, when we occupy fort, we take uh, manpower, which is good. Also pillaging uh, capitals. It's a little hidden thing. My issue with the U4 is that sometimes it has like lots of hidden uh, stuff that it doesn't tell you about. Like over here, you can only tell if you hover over it. The effect can happen every five years, sure, but pillaging capitals gives one year's worth of manpower. So that is what? Another 1,200, something like that? Hmm, do I give the Dimmy liberty? I'll revoke them later. I mean, I definitely won't, Dimmies. <laughs> Don't worry, but it'll give us just a bit more manpower. Take the taxes, and we also get more manpower. It's actually going to be more advantageous to have non Sunni province actually invite the scholar, which sometimes they tend to not. And then war preparations gives us loads of claims if we have a general and 100% of the force limit. So let's get 100% of the force limit. And shockingly, let's also get ourselves a general. Well, do you count as a general? Oh, we'll recruit. Oh, we'll recruit one anyway. I think it's a 2-1. I'm gonna save our air for now. All right. We are going to build spy networks in air, in Timbuktu, and in Jenne because they're the ones that we're gonna be fighting. Like I said, super expansion. Second, these guys are done. Ah, you allied in Valley. That's unfortunate for us. Right. War preparations. Preparations. Like, okay. It gives loads of claims, as you can see here. Stop the air raids, which gives us an accept the culture and stability. Also allows us uh, to colonize these two lines. You see what I mean? Like, it's just ridiculous that no one knows about this uh, this nation. Obviously, some of you are looking at your screen going, I knew. But no, but no, it's a different nation that you're talking about. I knew is a complete... That's such a bad joke. <laughs> Moving on. 20 armor tradition. I do want that. So we need Mossy's territories. Uh, and also, I want to push for the gold mines as soon as possible. I believe there's one down here. Yeah, in Kong. Let's get rid of the team of two one. All right. Death and murder. Let's go for it. Do you have a, do you have a fort, right? No one has forts. All right, there's Bonneman's troops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It was a stack wipe, but it was not a confident one. Hopefully, if I can stack wipe this, excellent. That was actually incredibly painful. That should be the end of organized resistance. I think West Africa is sort of stereotypically the place most people think of when you say Africa. Which is, as, as someone who's, you know, part North African, uh, it's mildly upsetting. The number one question I get uh, when, <laughs> when someone finds out that I'm North African, genuinely, uh, over the years, has been, Why aren't you black? <laughs> Well, because I'm not that race, it's a different African race. Yeah, most people have a lot of allies. Okay, Bonneman. Ooh, that's useful. Oh, I'm going to take out these two. Really, really useful. Okay, so we're going to annul alliances between Bonneman and his buddy here in Ouagadougou. Because we can declare war on Ouagadougou and fight Dagbon. But we can also call in Dagbon as a co-belligerent uh, without having to worry about anything else. Now, we are slackening our manpower a little bit. So we are probably going to need indebted to burgers. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the free company. And they can go and do the... Uh, okay, two siege. That's actually excellent. It's exactly what we wanted. Go take over the siege, buddy. I don't, what, lose 15% national tax per month. No. Why didn't I get a... Did he just... I don't think I won the siege. I think he just 
you gave up. Take your money, access, and get rid of your alliances. Also, end your rivalry, you know? Don't, don't be rivals anymore. Before I do anything else, let us snip in and murder you. Pull in Dagbon as a co-belligerent. There you go. Now we peace out. Take a bunch of land. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. Welcome to the realm. Right, after a flying start. You didn't declare war on someone, did you? It looks like you're about to. You shouldn't really do this. I'm gonna risk it. Oh my god, that's painful. Ah, he's gonna retreat into West Africa. This is the really... This is what grinds my gears. Uh, about this region EU4 uh, is the and the same thing with uh, with North America. Well, North America is a bit more permissible, I suppose. But people they just leave. Like the armies just go into you know the Gold Coast. They travel very far away. Like sure, retreat into uh, an uncolonized province. By all means, go for it. But don't sit there and tell me that you can migrate halfway up of Af halfway up of Africa when you know most people didn't even leave their provinces at this point. Like very few expeditions. Or a couple from Mali and they went and tried to seek out the new world and that sort of stuff. Which is actually really cool. Again, uh, little, little known fact: uh, Mali at this point, really, really interestingly structured state in how they put things together. Um, if you don't know about it, I recommend you check it out. And they had an explorer that went to try and find new lands. And he, uh, well, presumably died. But there is uh, a legend amongst uh, some West Africans that he made it and settled a kingdom there. Which, um, probably did not happen. He probably did that. But in my mind, he didn't. Take all this land. Kong Hai is growing rather nicely. All right. Kong is doing quite well. That means we have to fight Jenne, who are fighting... I, I, I can't ever... All right, Kong are allied to Timbuktu and Jene, which is quite useful. I think Jene has a four in account, but they do. It's upsetting. Also, they have a monument. Go check that out. I'd love to fight Timbuktu. They're allied to Mali, who are kind of ambivalent towards me, so I might be able to nip in there. But I can't ever look at Jenny without thinking Jene. I'm going to keep Mali alive for now uh, by allying them. I'll try and see if we can nip in and take out Timbuktu at some point. Meantime, let's see if we can't fight someone like Oya. Conquer Timbuktu, stop the air raids, and eliminate the Mossi threat. So I need Father Ngurno. Father Ngurno. If you had any doubts whether I was part West African, well, I might be. I should do a DNA test and show the results on stream or something. That'd be fun. But what if I find out I'm like 100% Scottish? Like, um, turns out this whole fantasy of Tunisia is not a thing. God, that'd be devastating. That's good content. <laughs> That's how you know I've made it in the YouTube game, boys. <laughs> Personal tragedy? Damn, I can make money off this. I think the best part to fight is down here. Because I could take Dahomey and take Benin and get a coastline. Zazao is allied to Benin and Fada Ngormo. Katsina allied to Nupe and Kanbornu. Air allied to Kano and Yao. Both very small, but I'm trying to stack them up so I can take as much territory as possible in one more. I'm trying to be efficient. That's the key point. Efficient. Um, well, there's no harm in waiting until Mali wouldn't come in. As I imagine, they're suffering rather a, bit, a lot of difficulties. From what I know of their start, they start in a disaster. And the AI historically doesn't get out of disasters too uh, effectively. I do not have like a modifier for Occupy Pong has a gold mine, which is why I'm gunning for them, by the way. And what's from your Tenga separatists? Looking like they're going to rise up. That's all for not just the culture. Da -da. I'll give me a bit more manpower and some loyalty with the dimmies. I'm going to revoke pretty soon because I want to give the dimmies, the uh, manpower thing to the dimmies. Pretty sharpish. So, uh, lots of different ethnic groups around here. Obviously, both in the modern day and historically. Fortunately, that means lots of different separatists for me. It's very inconvenient that it's not a homogenous region. Both in the modern day and for me in the game. Points. Surely I have manpower issues. How do you not have manpower? You both come in and I, again, it's just a case of I don't want to cut my teeth on a, a meal too big. So I'll probably go after you. Um, yeah, we can get that done before any rebels rise up. Back to the part where I can't do that. <laughs> Ooh, I'll take Father Ungodmo as well. Okay, let's do that. Okay, how many men am I fighting now? Like 7,000? We should be able to beat 7,000. Oh, don't retreat into the. Okay. Like, yeah, I can't. I'm gonna leave. That's just, it's a two-star general and 7,000 troops I'm leaving behind. Oh, that's ridiculous. For whatever reason, I don't get, they don't get attacked by natives. I get attacked by natives. Which is a fun twist on a classic. Well, that's rather painful what just occurred, lads. And you'll see why in about six to 12 months. Because you can see all of my rebels lining up at the same time. Noble rebels, that's nice. Oh, did you all your troops die? No, you have more troops than I do. And my heir is dead. The two, the two seater. Well, to be fair, we've got a two-star general now, but I need that two. Oh, he's air. He's a, he's strict. Nice. That, I'll take that. Ah, wonderful. Song high rebels. Over here. Okay, well, we can annex you at least. Gives me and also piety and traditions. Right. Religious missions or tolerance? Can I want to go tolerance? Yeah, I usually go like religious extremist uh, point of view. Um, in the game. In the game. In the game. 
So it'd be nice to do tolerance for once. We'll do guaranteed religious, minority religious right. That fulfills that mission. And I get the guaranteed tradition. It does. I'm so surprised we've had so few rebels. Well, there you go, the free gun. Oh, it's just some random troops that died. Okay, that's fine. Okay, why did I say something about so few rebels? Why? <laughs> How do I speak? I don't know where their troops are. They haven't actually showed up since I uh, defeated them the first time. So I'm very confused about this. All right, I think I'm gonna need to let the rebels run around. I don't know what to finish off this war. Hopefully he's stacked up somewhere and just gets ruined. Otherwise I'm gonna have to fight his rebels with a two-star general. Ah, cool. So he was just waiting here the entire time. And I got pretender rebels. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to surrender them. I can't fight those. Our kings are 336. Well, we're gonna fight to keep him alive. There's nothing killing him. All right, enforce religious unity. Why not? <laughs> All right, boys. Now we have a slightly more interesting situation. So, lots of rebels about to rise up. No manpower, low stability, low legitimacy, and in two wars. We have 4,000 men. We seem to have the beginnings of a bit of a rumble, lads. So, didn't we have 100? Bump up our stability first thing. Try and get those interest loans down. Then we're gonna take out just to stave off anything that could go poorly. Mastery companies available to us. An interesting choice from Timbuktu, to be sure. Either if we have any siege, nope. We're gonna have to go and liberate our capital pretty soon. In the meantime, we'll get the rebels to clean up this lot. Minus four. <laughs> this game thinks I have manpower. All right, let's get this done. Right. Don't unconditionally surrender, Leif. That was almost a terrible misclick. Who are my red hawks? Get that going. Okay. Yeah, you, you do you. All your separatists. Guns of the Songhai. Wonderful. <laughs> Good. Can we use them? How's my reform progress? 73. Well, if it's 73, then uh, let's get ourselves the uh, feudalism side of things. Army professions. Uh, at least 30 army professions, and we get the army reforms of Karakiba. Well, let's get uh, feudalism. Then we get better military. Okay. <laughs> really, man? Okay, we have 900 troops left, boys. <laughs> oh no! We're running down to the Oyo! Wait, we Kong joined? I <laughs> if the Oyo march over here, we're dead! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Sasa declares war as well. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna be chaos. This is amazing. All right Take out some loans. Let's get this a hell company. Oh Jesus I really did not want to have to fight you, but sure. Okay, you boys aren't going anywhere. Never think how am I gonna do that? Right, let's go defend our capital. We need a military guy as soon as possible. All right, send him running I think we have to do with Zaza first weirdly enough. Did you call in bit? <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay Lots of rebels. Um, the Songhai Pretender rebels are still here. I'm probably gonna have to surrender to them. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. I want to. I want to keep fighting. That's more fun. Okay. All right. Nip in, murder this lot. See if I can get them to peace out. How many more separatists can rise up? Realistic. The concern is that the more land that they take, the worse it gets for me. For the simple fact that like my loan size will decrease, and obviously my ability to make money. All right, I'll take twelve ducats off you. All right, that's that's you lot dealt with. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to nip in. You're all gonna be tech. Okay, one tech three, two. I have to nip in and murder this lot. That should be the end of you. That's the biggest threat dealt with. Start taking back our lands. You best believe we're taking some gold mines. It doesn't make sense to me that um, Kong is a co-belligerent, right? When they, I think, I think if you accept an offensive call to arms, you should be automatically uh, called as a co-belligerent because they can take my land at full value. I can only take theirs at 50% value. It, it doesn't really uh, add up as, as nicely all that. You've declared war on Zazao. Bring, bring. Who's that? Karma. <laughs> okay, this is actually gonna end up being a good thing for me. I just gotta deal with my rebels first. We take a uh, Diplo tech. That's nice. I probably should have uh, lowered my war resource instead of doing that, but oh well. Catch these guys out here. We should be able to stack up Kong with this amount of men if they're on still in Miltek too. Not if we stagger in like that. Yeah. Ooh, might still happen. Ah, no, not quite. What's this war for? Tadameka. Okay. We're only losing about five ducats a month. I think we're gonna have to say coalition be damned. We're gonna have a truce with this lot. You're not gonna be able to do anything to me. You, well, you won't be allied to me at the end of this, but I'll have killed you two. So that should basically mean that I can fight the entirety of West Africa on my own. And finally, the natives. Obviously, we're natives as well, but the uh, other natives. The EU4 defined natives. <laughs> Score a kill for me. So let's go after Kong first. Uh, let's leave behind some men to protect that zero stack. Or not. Let's just send everyone. Oh, Timbuktu. And we've lost our men. <laughs> difference in. Well, it'll be nice now because we're, we're going to start getting manpower back because we don't have a single army that isn't manpower, isn't uh, mastery based, so that's okay. Oh, what's a white? Oh, you thought you thought you were getting out of this? Okay, as you're occupying my lands. Okay. All right, bud. I'm going to hold him here because I'm pretty sure he doesn't think he can take me. Actually, to prevent him from meeting up with that army before this gets done. Run it around. There we go. Where's that gold mine? Don't even get a coalition for fully annexing you. That's nice. How long has this war been going on? It'll take four. So let that be a warning. If you attack the Songhai, you'll get annexed. Unless you're, you're Zaza, in which case, <laughs> you did well. 
Well, it gave me 12 bucks, I suppose. Who was the one lower manpower? Yeesh, this is gonna be a, a rough siege. Could you not revolt for three seconds? Provided I can get the gold mine up and running, should honestly be economically very, very viable off this. Do you have a siege guide? No. Do we have a siege guide? No. Well, we got one. Don't win that. Why have you breached the walls? Don't win that. Come on. Don't. Just don't do it. Come on. Don't do this to me. Game, please. Game, please. Game, please. Game. Ah! <laughs> Come on, man. I've been fighting this for so long. Oh, this is going to be painful. All right, that'll accept full annexation. Let's do it. I'm going to have to go and siege down that fort. Kong's land are done, which means that this gold mine can actually start giving us stuff. Conquer Timbuktu and conquer whatever this is. Ah, uh, what? What? <laughs> They're just gonna rise up. I think. I think that's how it works. I'm not sure. Please, God, please, we need manpower. Bet you didn't expect us to be uh, incredibly dominant after that little shambles of a war. Hmm. Okay, what else do we need? Okay, that means it's fine. They're loyal, got the air raids, it's fine. Conquer Jenny, we can do that pretty easily now. We're fighting Mali, but Mali's kind of busy fighting itself. We know professionalism at least 30. That's sort of a long way off. Okay, the free company is dead. Zaza, <laughs> buddy, <laughs> I swear to God. Now's not the time to declare war on me. Okay, bonding and separatists. We've, we've been at war so long that it's looped right back around <laughs> to resetting all of our uh, truces. Uh, our, like, um, We've been at war for so long, it's looped right back around to uh, resetting all of our... That fort and tomb book too is really working over time. All these rebels would be dead if it wasn't for this stupid war. Okay, there we go. Last little victory lap, and by victory lap, I mean massacring of rebels and dissenters. Don't win that, please. I, I cannot deal with someone winning. A I did promise that it was going to be constant expansion um, and constant warfare. A lot of that warfare has been internal uh, and continues to be internal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm going bankrupt anytime soon, right? Again... If it wasn't for that, just lose the stability for no reason. What the hell event was that? Oh, that's going to trigger the peasants war. It's just, the game is, is really, really going against me in this one. Oh my God. Come on, do it. Just, just win the siege. <laughs> Come on. Okay, right. There's Kong done. All right, I've got to be careful because Oyo might actually split. I'm going to stop the peasants war by doing that. The king died in battle. <laughs> Oh my god! Ability less than one, yep, I, I, I can see that. Get rid of our war exhaustion, it's kind of necessary. Ready to pump up the gold mine even more. Yes, they are hard times. How long is the Regency? Oh man, we're gonna get the Peasants War. And again, how they stagger in means that just a thousand men died off immediately. Okay, right, things are settling down. The Hanabali scholars are, are gone. Can't put any cultures. Okay. We're making money. We have no more mercenaries. 6,000 men, some manpower. Life isn't so easy. Oh, nice. I'll take a 4-3. The colonies are self-sustaining. Okay, things seem to have settled down. The sheer amount of admin I'm wasting on keeping, like, my stability up. Oh, Mali has just been rinsed, okay. I never actually took control of... Oh, no, it's just a different separatist group that came from somewhere else. Loans are fine. Everything's fine. I shut down my fort. That'll make us a correction. Ducats a month. Six ducats a month. Nice. It was prestige because we need that. What are you upset about? Tell, like, actually tell me what you're upset about. Just separatism and religious unity and not accepting culture and whatever. Suck. We can do some math here. <laughs> whip out the old calculator. Seven months, right? Oh, it goes up by two each, release ten. Okay, well, I can repay one of those. Takes it down to nine. Wondering why it went up so quick. So one. So we've got six months, roughly. Six months of generating how much? Also existing 27. We're 127. It's been 52. Should be enough. If nothing goes wrong, if nothing goes wrong, we should avoid this disaster with the skin of our teeth. Doesn't affect the disaster, though. <laughs> it was one month. If anything went wrong there, we were getting the disaster. Okay, if we take out a loan, <laughs> if we lose the stability, it's done. So I just got done recording Speed 5 or uh, live streaming or hosting or whatever you want to call it, casting Speed 5. Uh, and so I've been speaking for about four hours straight and my voice is shot and I've come back to this hellhole of a nation. <coughs> I can't. <coughs> I'm ill, so you know what time it is, time I give myself the nails, right? <coughs> Jesus, it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh my God. Was there an issue I was facing? Oh yeah, uh, pe yeah Peasants War. So don't take out any loans. This will trigger the Peasants War. Yeah, don't, don't get this fine. Tempted to develop the Renaissance, because we're not going to get it otherwise. I'm head on Miltech. I'm going to develop Renaissance. I'm going to develop it on the gold mine. Because we've already actually started to develop it a little bit. All right. I should have a dude in charge now. Well connected, that's really good for us. Yeah, us full advisors. Just got to wait until Peasants War is no longer a thing. I'll go ahead and decrease autonomy here to get the full benefit of the gold mine. Well, I think that's as much of it as we can get. We're going to start crawling up towards the northern lot by colonizing. We lose two base manpower, that's fine. It's actually a good thing for us. So 99% of the way there. All right. So what do we want next? Probably decentralized bureaucracy because we have so many. Yeah, we'll go decentralized. Why not? 
Let's see our sort of uh, governance style. I kind of want to go humanist ideas. I'm going like super militaristic, sure, but I also kind of want to go humanist to make sense. Because militaristic doesn't have to mean like discriminatory. I mean, it inherently does, but <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm starting to get a bunch of separatists now, which is unfortunate because we're so close to getting our manpower back. Okay, about one more click away from Renaissance. All right, we can pay off four of our loans. We're looking good on that front. Oh, our good general died. Put our king in charge. He's a 6 1. This no stuff stings so badly. I'm trying to keep it together for the video, but it hurts so much. Oh my god. If our king dies here, it'll be bad. Wait, is that enough for the Peasants' War to be done? Yes. Okay, nice. We'll start using the free company, integrate them into our military. We could begin conquering the rest of West Africa. And a small hiccup of, you know, everyone declaring war on us. We're fine now. Let's see. Mali has no allies. It's like three gold, two gold provinces at least. Well, they've only got one. Nice. Self-sustained province. Ha, huh, we could just become an empire. Provided we're bigger than Mali. And Mali gets the emergence of Songhai. Kill Mali, get more claims. If we're allied, then every fetishist country will have their opinion of us increased by 40. I don't really want to do that, but yeah, we're going to have to. I think there's only like two left. Yeah, everyone else is Muslim. We, we killed the rest of them. House is Muslim. Zazao isn't. So let's go ally Zazao. Is it three? That's a lot. I have to improve relations with Benin. Let's see what else we got going on here. Still don't do the army professionalism. I should be drilling my troops. Ah, I shouldn't have hired those mercenaries. Okay, we have zero. I've insulted them instead of improving relations. Oh, late. That is ridiculously stupid. Come on. I can't conquer anywhere until uh, until he's done. Gain of stability is lovely. All right, Benin will ally us now. And that can give us pain alliances, which now unlocks this. So we need to protect our legacy. The veteran face may, may be heathen to us and to Islam, but it is an important part of our identity, our people, and as such, we must protect this legacy from those religious zealots who want to destroy it. So if I have at least three tolerance of heathens and stability three, we get roots for song. I don't know what that does. Treat to find out. I don't need them anymore though, right? I don't need any other allies. Okay, Mali. Right. I'm going to take out burger loans in order to get Renaissance. All right. And now we're going to murder Mali, then take out Air, Hausa, yada, yada. We don't need this lot anymore. Lucky there were only three nations left, huh? Well, that would have been rather tricky. Look, I'm trying to liberate you. Don't worry about it. Don't ask questions. Benin must be real upset right now, considering I insulted him, then allied him, and then now just immediately broke the alliance. When you're 50% cheaper, I'm going to need you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this spray is killing me. Why do I do it whilst I'm recording? I think it'd be funny for the video, and it's just painful. Oh, God. Oh. All right, well, at least we get to murder you. Yao ready for this? <laughs> That's a pun on Yao's name because I'm going to be fighting them. They're not even the primary war parts of them. In fact, they're the only ones that I'm not currently co-belligeranting. But uh, that's besides the point. The funny joke. If you disagree, you're wrong. <laughs> Objectively. These guys don't have any uh, forts in their country, so I'm going to deal with them first. Skill 2, advisor 50% cheaper. Sounds good to me. I hate that they can just retreat through forts. I mean, to be fair to them, I don't, I don't think I have forts that lock them out. No, I don't. Okay. Well, that's that's my bad then. Fair enough. You know what, game? You're janky at times, but that one's on me. Okay, I've kind of split my troops quite a bit here. All right, we won the siege of Volov. Okay, so we took his capital, and that gives us a white piece, a royal marriage, and makes him into a vassal. I wish I'd known about that, because that would just end the war, and I have so much more to gain. So... Nah, I'm gonna be so far behind. Ordinarily, if the, if he was like wall off right now or someone else like that, if I'd known that was a thing, I'd have fought them so much earlier. All right, that's the eastern lot done. Or western lot, sorry. That gives us eradicate Mali, which gives us claims on those areas prior to us coring them. Makes that a little bit cheaper. I think we have admin tech three, which might sound really bad, but honestly, in 1480, I've had campaigns where I've not uh, teched up at all in admin. So this isn't, this is sort of par for the course. We do have. <laughs> Renaissance uh, before, I think before Castile, <laughs> somehow. What are the great powers? So England, France, Muscovy, Castile. No Poland, surprisingly. No Ottoman. No, the Ottomans are on top. Okay, there you go. <laughs> For a second there. I wonder how Paros decides whether or not there's going to be a fort somewhere. Damn it, I should have asked that PDA. It's gone. I think I just asked a question about balancing when I was there. I felt very nervous. I didn't want people to laugh at me. I also just asked a question about the Jalerids and uh, no one knew what the hell he was talking about, apart from like me, and, like maybe one or two other people. And I, I didn't want to have that experience, and so I went for the safe option. <laughs> I, I, don't, I didn't want to do that. I'm doubling down. This could murder all my troops, but I'm doubling down. Why is Yao here? You can't call Yao and... Oh, all right, Yao already was in the war. It's air that didn't want to be in the war. It's about to get very upset. Okay, we made it. If I can stack wipe this lot, it would be ideal. Come on, just die. That's not stack wipe. Because they can come at me from so many different areas. 
I might be going to here. They're going south. They're going, yep, there you go. Look at them retreat across my lands into Terry, into what? Uncolonized provinces. Wonderful. All right, we really do have to think about our manpower here at some point. I can I can hear myself being more nasally as my nose gets more and more blocked. I hate that. All right, I do take the next mill tech. That's nice. Uh, and I am going to go ahead and grab it, despite the danger that puts me in. Where we stick together, we should be okay. I actually pay off most of my loans. All of my loans. Nice. It's the power of gold mines, boys. Love a siege general right now. So I'm gonna get one. Watch this. Siege generals. Th three minimum siege pips. I actually I will take a 4-3 with two. Just so good at this game. It's pure skill. Separatism to Muktu. Wonderful. I thought I thought for a second. <laughs> it was it was my guy, my new one, and I thought I was about to be very upset. If you can win that fast in Timbuktu, it'd be wonderful. Okay, that's a 14,000 men with two star general. Come on, please. A 636. I will take that. Damn. I'm with the first Askia. His reign was one of the great militaristic successes and political reforms, which ensured a legacy of learning and literacy for the Song of High People. Let's get him in. Pretty sure I didn't. Yeah, I need to invite a new scholar. Uh, I don't need the aggressive expansion one anymore. Maybe the merch one would be pretty good. In fact, he's kind of ineffective. Need at least 25 piety. All right. Ah, oh, he's an embezzler. Oh, he got money. We can pay for it. How long has this war been going on? Yeah, four years. It's a long one. <laughs> now we're going to be careful. Stability went from plus three down to, to plus one real quick. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Go straight in. Don't do it to me. Okay, good. Dude, our king is insane. He's a 3 4 with infantry combat ability. Buddy, please. Yao, just get out of here, man. Call for peace. Yeah. <laughs> I have objectives. Oh, our heir is just. It didn't replace the king. It didn't replace the heir. It just replaced the king. It's interesting. All right, there's the Siege of Kano. Can't actually get everything. It's upsetting. All right, if we go and stand in Yao's capital, he should peace out. It's kind of important to me. Did you DC Jene's provinces? Ugh. Okay, but he will peace out. Wonderful. There we go. All right, strong high. Strong high. Song high is looking pretty strong. It was DDR Jake that used to call it strong high. Wonder what he's doing nowadays. I haven't actually watched him for a while. Years, in fact. I remember there was a stream he did on like Sengoku Rants, or Rants, or something else like that. And that was genuinely one of the most entertaining things I've ever seen in my life. Do I have over 100% extension? I do. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, lads. Oh, boys, we're in for trouble. <laughs> oh, God, I... I hey, I, <laughs> I offered chaos. Golden Age of Timbuktu. Death of Muhammad Askia. Possible advisors plus three. Technology cost minus 10%. An idea cost minus 10%. Yes, please. I mean, there's a Golden Age and then there's a Golden Age. This is definitely not a Golden Age for stability. I tell you that much. Oh, my God. We're going to have to kill every rebel in the, under the sun, aren't we? Okay. Let's switch out our cavalry now for Tuareg cavalry. And we're probably going to need more mercenaries, to be honest. What's our profession? 2.6. That's going to suck. That's going to go. Look at the Amazons. This is a lot. There's a lot to deal with when I'm ill, man. I, why can't I ever, like, I'll, oh, next time I'm playing as Genoa. Next time I'm playing, I'm going to chill. I'm going to play as Genoa. I'm going to enjoy my life. That is a lot of rebels. And I might have just killed Zazao, which I don't feel that bad about. It did sort of, you know, backstab me. I say backstab me. They just attacked me. Which in my mind is backstabbing. I gotta be careful because I keep on throwing my troops in and they keep on doing that thing. See, that's exactly what I wanted to talk about. That thing that happens every stupid. Oh. Please don't take the fort. Just don't take the fort. It's the only thing I ask of many things. Just go around them and attack the guys who are gonna take the fort. I'd be very upset if they take the fort. All right, we're mostly stable. Mostly. Somewhat. Not really. We're not stable. We're, we're unstable. That's okay. We're fine. We're. we're <laughs> If I don't think about it, we're, we're fine. If we ignore the mounting uh, debt concerns and or stability concerns, then we're absolutely fine. It's just uh, an exercise in imagination, you know? Might as well at this point, right? Just realized I don't have troops to spread around. Uh, should probably have done that beforehand. <laughs> He's getting away. Get him. Don't let him go on the ships. Nice. Okay. Should be this lot dealt with. Gain two on professionalism. That sounds good. I just need to make sure I never fire these mercenaries. Ah, oh, finally. A coalition might form. <laughs> of course, they're allied to one another. All right, let's take our Benin. Now we fight this lot. Just go round him into province, please. Oh, dimmy building restrictions. Now we want tolerance. How much do we need for that uh, roots of Songhai? At least three tolerance of heathen. What do we have currently? Yeah, legitimacy will pump it up. We need another one. We get one right here. Yeah, I don't know that we're going to get that, you know. Really, I have your capital and you're saying no? All right, well, one second then. Come to the Songhai again. I'm happy to keep taking this event. Where are you retreating to? Like, where exactly, please? Just going to chill there forever? Fine, I'll come in and attack you. All right, there's that. 
And that finishes Stop the Air Raids, which gives us stability, colonizing the north, and getting Tuaregs and accepted culture. Nice. Do you really not have a claim on you? Uh, sure. Let's colonize the corridor. Looks like Tafliat is getting occupied by Castile. Oh, no. Okay, so what... Does it give me that I can go up north? Contact with Maghreb. I haven't discovered any province. I like it says contact, and we're just like, yep, we'll we'll take it. Workshops, we get money. Okay, that's not that's not happened right now. Well, eventually, but for now, it's it's not. Oh, we discovered more of the Sahara, and Castile is <laughs> hostile towards us. I'm sure you are, buddy. You're allied to England, okay, and Portugal, and you have Aragon, Navarra, and Naples, and a junior partner. Okay, that's that's not fun for us. The Hajj. Bro, I started that about seven years ago. I can rival Castile, sure. I think I'm, am I higher up on the totem pole than they are? No, they're not anymore. Not too far off. Yeah, I like to would die. That's annoying. I'm just gonna have to wait so I can annex everyone in one war. The Tunisians might be the soft underbelly if I can catch them whilst the Ottomans are sleeping. Oh my god, finally. You within our colonial range? You are. I am tempted just to go in and murder them. I kind of want to play according to the missions instead of just sort of nosy being all over the place. Two years and I go after Yao. Hausa is another... Five. That's a lot of potential advisors. Okay, so we can always get the one we want. That's nice. Well, let's go trade efficiency. We need the reputation one right now. All right, two two percent there, lads. Another twenty eight percent to go. I like five hundred. Right, strength of the lemma. That's not going to help us. Uh, strength of the dimmy. That's tolerance of heathens right there. All right, let's uh, strength of the dimmy. It no longer increases influence and no longer decreases max absolutism. Nice. It should give us the tolerance we need once we get a hundred legitimacy. I believe. Or does not. Legitimacy will give us another one. Huh. I thought it would have been better than that. Because this is meant to give us plus two, right? It does. Dimmy gives us another plus two. That's four. I think I'm going to take humanness then. At that point, I have to. I don't, I don't want to, but I have to. Problem of humanness is right at the end as well, so I can't just like take it and reinverse it. I just think here. Take down legacy. Vastalization acceptance. At least three tolerance of heathens. I, I can get two. Is there something else I could do? Get tolerance of heathens? Is there like a monument? No. All right. Well, Humanist it is then, lads. Unless I don't want it to be. Conquer Yao. Should be a rather easy war, this. Alright, let's murder these troops. And then they should just accept, to be honest. <laughs> they do indeed. Excellent. Which leaves only two left. Should we have troops with Hauser up now? Oh, God, that's a long way. Alright, off you pop. I should probably actually start building uh, military. I'm just sort of been sitting there drilling it. Alright, let's declare war on this lot. Now, what? Would well, die wouldn't come in. I thought we was. Oh my God, they broke up right at the end. That's really sad. Should have died together, man. Been way more fun for you. Not that dying anyway is fun. I assume. I, I wouldn't know. To be fair, can you imagine being uh, Iberian, colonizing the coast of Africa? You're like, aha, we've met these Songhai people. We, we border them over here. And here. And oh my god, they never end. I think at some point you just you would have just assumed they own Africa. It wouldn't be an unfair assumption if you're just looking at West Africa. I mean, as far as we know, we, we own most of Africa. I mean, you want to ally me because you're threatened. Oh, come on. <coughs> Just give me your maps, man. For ally you, you'll give me your maps, right? All right, and there is our conquest. West Africa gives us, protect our legacy. Now we just need tolerance at least three, stability at least three, and fewer rebel armies than one. Well, now we just need stability at least three. All right, let's sort our armies a little bit better than this. Right, cool, this stuff. Make us as strong as possible. Just get my mercenaries to do everything for me whilst I wait. Because what I also want to do is chuck you lot over here. Where is it? Lobby? Yeah, put it in Lobby. Might be able to hang together on Lobby? No. All right, let's get you guys to drill. Ooh, skill three theologian. We have the money left over. All right, we're going to be super behind in admin tech and also our ideas. But I am going to sit here and make all of these places states. I think it's important. It was a really strong foundation. Start ticking down that uh, ye old autonomy. I'm going to provoke the last of these revolts. Use the rebels to mop up these lands. And I really wish I was there. Unfortunate. New pay separatists. Plus three possible advisors is huge. How old is he? One in forever. 47. He's still got like another good 10 years. That he might be the best ruler in the game. Because I don't know anyone else that has like a special event like that. Nice. Free thing is not persecuted. Wonderful. That is unfortunate. Let's start getting humanist ideas or I can hold on. I kind of want to get the workshop first and then I can start in the meantime working on the workshop mission as we gently play tool in this game. Turn us what's an alliance. Uh sure for now. Because I need your maps of the Maghreb. Come on, man. Alright, now we can start. Ooh. I actually think we can get another idea group first, get a military idea group, and then we start working on admin ideas, or humanist ideas, sorry. We have an insane output of 15 a month, so it really should not take us that long. Now, air isn't too shabby either. <coughs> get rid of these mercenaries, they're gone. Purge the manpower lot. Call the territories, and now we need the workshops. I think it's 10 I need. Now, let's announce me as a new rival. Oh, that's helpful. I have an idea, though, of how I can uh, help lessen the blow. Right, will you give me maps yet? Yes, you will. Of the Maghreb. 
Militarily, we're as good as the Cassilians. Not gonna have access to colonialism, though. But the Cassilians will get it at some point, and we'll get it then. It's gonna be a rough sort of 30, 40 years, but that's fine. All right, there's that idea. Want a military one? Do I just wanna go quantity? Just get the sheer amount of, of, of Songhai troops. Yeah, I like that. We've got a lot of money anyway, so. Okay, so that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, roughly. I'm gonna take my leader off of this. Start drilling the air instead. I'm about to start whizzing through these ideas. Well, General Ashak is dead. Let's get another one. Can't. Did something. Construct workshops. Gain 58 from workshops and counting houses. Ah, there's no point. We have enough money anyway. Okay. Develop cloth and salt. Three provinces producing salt in this region with at least 10 development. Okay, we can do that. Trade goods. With at least 10 development, huh? Okay. We've got our favorite one. This coastal one looks pretty good. Five, six, seven, nine, ten. That's one. How many provinces do I need? Three. How many it is? Three, four, five. Do you want to improve the Great Mosque of Jen? Because we military strength, military strength versus heathens, which isn't actually that useful to me. Versus technology class. Yeah, okay, we need this one instead. That's province number three. One around here somewhere. And there goes our boy. Adopt the Mamluk government. I don't want to do that. There it is. Now this guy's objectively worse by a couple of points. So it's going to take a little bit longer. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not going to go from a 636 to a, to a 300. That's the three. Now I think we need 20 in cloth. What does that even give us? For 25 years, not even that much. Still don't have any access in Maghreb. Look, I'll royal marry you, please, buddy. Oh, what I do want to do is hand off this privilege. The conscription. One. That'll give you more manpower. Eh, it's an investment. Start upgrading on monuments using him. 25% cost. Okay, that's as high as it gets with Tunis. Will you share your maps in the Maghreb with Because you're interested in the region. Dude, I'm just- I just want to know what's out there! Close. Okay, Marrakesh, what if I allied you? Oh, you legend. Get some units up there. <laughs> By just clicking on them, I did it. Sure. Contact with Maghreb. Right, so now we need to actually head up there. Yeah, well, I mean, we take a Marrakesh. All right, I want maps. How many troops do you have on your side? 85,000. It'll be tricky, not impossible. About 100,000. You're unknown towards me. We're literally married, dude. Which one might be the easier choice here? No, it's the exact same. They've created a little triple alliance, the pricks. Uh, if I insult your rival, who's your rival? I can't, uh, I don't have access to any of your rivals. Just upgrade it for the fun of it. Boy, is it gonna take a long time. <laughs> oh. Who wants an alliance? Wonderful. All right, I'm gonna leverage you against the Cassilians. I keep using this manpower, might as well. That'll be done, which will give us institution spread and loyalty. That tech cost later on. And now though, get some like, I was proud to build something by mistake. Or oh, taxation. Spam a couple of those out. It's nice just taking a, a little relaxed approach to things. <laughs> yeah, that's a good job because I never actually. Uh, <laughs> I never went ahead and uh, did what I had to do and get rid of them. So I'm pleased about that. Uh, I think I can't promote you. You're 50% cheaper. I need a 50% cheaper guy. Let me get an agenda going. Maybe I'll have one. Yeah, I can put a mosque here. Nice. Skill three, 50% cheaper. The only issue is, is in a region where... <clears throat> the only issue is, is in a category where we already have that. And Britain's formed, apparently. <clears throat> so is New Granada. I'm going to send you money. Honestly, you make friends for the first time. They just leech off you. The interception is minus 10%. Good to see. But what? You put Conquistador down here? Why? Let's check out what the combat width is. It is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. What? What? I like how no one's actually told us about the world around us. No one's told us that Europe's a thing. We don't even know. We just know there are big guys around. I'm tempted to get this. Monarch advisor skill, admin skill plus one. I'm gonna do it. I never get that one. I think we have the money to pay off the corruption. It's only gonna cost me like five. I think that's worth it for an extra admin. If you think about it. All right, what's our drone be getting us? We're up to 12% professionalism. It's just not really an efficient way to do it, is it? Oh, Spain's formed. I'm not selling people to you, Spain. There's has a larger army than us. Well, the Spanish. Like how I just don't even have anything close to a modern military. It's just it's just 25,000 in each stack. No, no funny business. Okay, we've got a regency. Kind of sucks. It's actually a bad shout having a fortress up there. Just thinking. I'll probably take out the Spanish now. The Ottomans would come in later on. 100... That increased in amount? Jesus! Why is Holland here? <laughs> What kind of world have we created? Okay, France is now the number three great power, but they have got colonialism. Poland's up there as well. Right, Tunis is getting colonialism. Nice. Could I get some of that? Oh, pal. All right, I've almost finished all of our ideas. I have taken the sort of slightly more tall route, but that's where I wanted to be. Right. Tolerance of heathens. Get this route to Songhai, which is what I've always wanted. 
I need two more stability. It cost me a lot of money. Well, a lot of admin. Yeah. Five, three, uh, four, three is in charge. That's a decent amount. I, I can't even declare war on them if I wanted to take this province, which kind of doesn't make sense. Because, you know, I'm, I can see them. The French, I can get a claim. To Tunis, I need colonialism, man. Just do me a solid. All right, finish off quantity ideas, which gives us inspirational leaders. We get land leader shock plus one. Not the greatest of policies, but it's it's our policy. Uh, I also do want to start, I want to get like three, four cannons per guy. Four, one, two, three, four, and also probably one, two more. So we're going to have 27 stacks running four cannons. That's going to be our combat width for the next little bit, because I think the next one goes up to 27 anyway. A couple of cannons too many. No, I didn't. I just didn't actually give over the cannons. Cool. All right, our admin tech is actually caught up. Oh, right. I was meant to increase my stability. Okay, good job, Lay. All right, how are we on that? Ooh, that's what I need. Take firearm regiments. Yes, please. And you are 50% cheaper somewhere. Yes, you are. Another 10%. Actually does not take me that long. There it is. Unite the tribes. Roots of Songhai. To either just become fetishist completely and every Sony province changes to fetish, fetishist, or we have is our secondary religion, which every fetishist province gives us. I, I like the idea of returning to the old ways. I think it's kind of cool. I think that just made us a lot weaker. <laughs> but we converted the, every province to fetishist. What sells that institution spread because he's given us knowledge sharing. Wonderful. God, so, we are so much weaker now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we're so much worse off. Oh, that's really funny. Oh man, that's pretty funny. Like, I had every opportunity to not screw myself over, and I just did. This one's keep on getting in more debt every time I see them. Oh, I really regret doing this. We, we were in such a strong position, and I just thought it'd be funny. I'm gonna have to change this dynastic administration thing as well, because I can't afford it anymore. Let's get the uh, advisor cost. Okay, three more. One, two, three. We have our professionalism that we need. Plus, I was at least 100% of the force limit. Mate. Okay, fine. Didn't even get that many good generals out of it. 2 6 will do. You won't. You won't. You're bad. Eh, everyone else can stay. I long for the days we're used to just get 30 plus a month. Now we only get 10. Norway wants access. Sure. I don't know how I'm helping you with that, but sure. Gotta remember, our troops are bad. We have had no upgrades. Well, not bad. They do have some redeeming qualities. I think we're gonna have to go for another military idea here. Probably a Offensive ideas. Uh, I haven't gone quality in a while. We'll do quality. That's why I decide idea groups nowadays. It's not. It's not based on any sort of like. Ah, here's the ideal ideal thing in this time. It's just. Eh, that's what I feel like. We do have a very large army. Okay, our professionalism. So do we want a better standing army? Two point five percent discipline for the rest of the game until his until his death. That's kind of okay. Well, sure. When he's thirty eight battles, which are oh armies that are led by our king of Canada's devil. Interesting. Guns of Songhai until the end of the game, plus 10% fire damage, and then modernize. Minus two unrest and minus tw plus 25%. Damn, I'll, I'll take that. All right, we've sort of laid dormant a bit too long now. It is time we decide to announce ourselves on the world stage. I want to wait for the next tech. That's kind of what we do in the meantime. Cut up our gold mines. All right, colonialism has appeared in this entire region. We've got land leader shot plus one, and it gives us one. <laughs> Give you a bunch of advancement effort. Institutions going. Anything that borders the Timbuktu one. Not as rich as we used to be back when we were Muslim. I'm making a lot more now. That's a pretty good event. What we do over here, if you want to be real smart about it, you uh, fire the advisors that are quite good. You take the 200 in each and you get it back. Red Hawk taught me that literally today. Doesn't matter because he died anyway. We are going to need that Master of Mint back. Wait, what? Did he say we're going on Hajj? Uh... <laughs> hmm. I suppose, okay, I suppose we have the Cult of Islam. That makes sense. We get some Islamic events. No, that's how it works. Denmark's here. Ottomans, I just need to get out of debt. And every time I look, it gets worse. You're like 2,000 in debt now. Where are you fighting? Who are you fighting? You're fighting Hassa. <laughs> Why is that contributing to so much of your debt? I spent the last like 60 years just chilling. Incredibly stable. Well, that's nice. It definitely feels new, especially with this campaign. Oh, can I can rival Tunis now. All right, I can take out a loan. That means I can now get institution. Catch up in tech. Wonderful. Let's focus now on military matters. Start to catch up to the Europeans. Okay, what tech are you on? Take 11. Probably going to get tech 12. Okay, the Ottomans are now have much reduced debt. In the meantime, he's founded four colonies. It's rather annoying. What school costs into the religion sounds good to me, though. Break my lights with Marrakesh, and you'll see why deep into the war. Some of you can already guess. I really want to see Europe so badly. I, it's kind of useful that they can't see me. Wait, can they see me? I don't think they can see me. I think they can see me, which means that I can accrue gross expansion with them. So that sucks. I rival Spain again. And we have Tech 11. Tech 12 is so key. 1550. Five years. We can wait five years. We've been waiting 100 now. So one of my longest uh, campaigns on this channel so far. In fact, what we can do as well is grab ourselves... Oh, I didn't do this before. 
Multi Village Bar. Also, Multi Divot Bar. Oh, I can see the rest of Africa. In fact, I can see the rest of Africa. Ooh, for vassalization. You do it. Okay, let's do that. Ah, of course, because we still have that. Do we still have that thing where it gives us vassalization? No. We have, uh, as as the. Wow, oh, phone is looking good. As part of our missions, we've, we have a plus 25 uh, acceptance reason uh, for vassalization. God, another Master of Mint's dead. Presumably because he saw the sheer amount of inflation that we're accruing through just a simple act of the mining for gold. Why are you all with the night? Sure. I'm not going to question it. Involved in that war, huh? It's unfortunate for me. I can see you, Denmark. I lied to the Commonwealth, you say. A little bit of an issue with that. You have something I want. We just have 80,000 manpower before we switch over to being Muslim or being fetishist. It's honestly such a mistake. <laughs> uh, it's funny, though. Wait. Hang on. The chance military power allies to difference in government's reputation we can get more diplomatic reputation how do i get more diplomatic reputation it's so frustrating trust i don't think trust helps oh, i was muslim we're gonna be having this conversation okay think 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 i think i need a larger military isn't gonna happen my military is already over a disciplined guy that might do it no minus one that's only gonna get worse oh, of government it's diplomatic reputation ah, yes. my only other thought is to develop my provinces zero okay yeah i think it is worth developing okay my capital is the province i need to develop i don't really want okay i don't want to develop my, my capital because i need that for when i'm doing um devving something like manufactories printing sorry printing press not manufactories um how do i i need to improve his race by three i can insult his rival and you'll like it so much you'll accept my vassalization offer excellent okay <laughs> that was a bit of a bit of a state all right let's use the spanish square well to murder the spanish ironically God, they can't actually get in there because of the Hormuzi Navy. Okay, they finished their war. They will come in. And so we march northwards, boys. In a hell of a war. Any invasion in imminent. He's got one cog. It's not an invasion. That's a tourist. No, I've seen British tourists, to be fair. That right, is decent. All right, cool. 413. Medicus? He's dead. All right, he's going to follow land attrition. Can we have a guy that's good at sieging? We'll put him on this thing. Yeah, be a bit cheeky here. Once everyone's distracted, I'm gonna go after Marrakesh. Key part here is that they are allied to my allies and guaranteed by my enemies. So it's fine. Okay, Spain and France are buddy buddy. Where are the Ottoman troops? Do you have access? Gives military access to Funj, which means yes, you do. So why don't you shift some troops over that way? I'm gonna try and bait them onto Tafli Afliat, because ideally I don't have to fight this. I see to Marrakesh immediately. Those instant sieges are something I definitely want to be seeing. That is not. Okay, we get to see the stats though. Oh, in fact, that's a good idea. Should we check their stats? Army quality. Oh my god, they've got damn near like what's that? 0.6? I've got jihad against the pagans. <laughs> this game really isn't built for uh, you to not uh, <laughs> not stay as, uh, as Islamic. Okay, we have 107% discipline, which is smaller than. They're 110%. The Spanish have insane troops. What about allies? The Ottomans have roughly similar stats to me. All right. Okay, I'm going to go push for Meknes. Could be a mistake. Breach the walls. Try and get these instant sieges off. The breach walls and the Meknes and that sort of stuff. Apparently I had everyone selected, so it doesn't count. It's fun. It's a real, real fun feature. I really enjoy that. God damn it. And they rebuilt the walls in that time, of course. Okay, cool. Well, we've beaten them there. <laughs> you can pinpoint that as the moment I lost my mind. My nose still stings from that, from the spray early. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was about three hours ago. Money, government reform. We always want government reform. Actually, it's gonna give us our next government reform. So that was a very smart choice. Uh, parliamentarianism. I love parliamentarianism. The nobility have 25% of my land. How much is it? They need to control less than 20 something percent, right? 25, I think it is. Equal or higher than the influence. And they have to own less than 25%. Yeah, I don't think it's happening anytime soon. Is there a goods produce one? Should we just become a fetishist theocracy? Sounds kind of fun. Yeah, all right. Fetishist department, just do it. <laughs> Fetishist theocracy, why not? Television gives us manpower recovery. We're a humanist, wait, we're a humanist theocracy. This doesn't, uh, I don't know what's going on anymore. Wait, let me, let me retcon this in my head. You know how the Knights of St. John became like the St. John's ambulance? That's what we did. Merchants, we don't want that. Our protection kind of useless to us. We want to go for like, a, we're trying to help people. We've got education at the court. There you go, tolerance of heretics and heathens. Partial secularization. <laughs> this is the weirdest <laughs> thing I've ever created. Why are you on high? Length of war. Why are you on high? Lose 10,000 manpower. Sure. Ooh, skill 33 theologian. That is 50% cheaper. I like that. Costs us 10 decades a month. So I can't afford that. Why is everything so expensive? Port maintenance. Army maintenance. Advisors maintenance. I think our gold makes us less. 
I just made several poor decisions, but that wasn't one of them. 40 ducats for 10 army attrition. I, I mean, yeah, I can see how well our army is in comparison. Honestly, not even that work much worse. All right, we've found the Christians. What does that cult do? Like a catch them all sort of situation. I like that being the new goal, trying to catch all the cults. You have nothing. <laughs> You're fully occupied. Huh. Portuguese have land down here. Too much longer. You guys really don't wanna... There you go, Funge. Good job. Did you just get across? What the hell was that? Dude, maybe you'll survive. I need I need maps of Iberia. Where's Iberia? Iberia. Give me maps of Iberia. Uh, <gasps> it's actually taking Gibraltar. We can cross if we take this problem. I'm actually gonna assault. <laughs> just so we can get across. Uh, if you don't know this, is how you meant to assault forts. You have to shift consolidate. There we go. No, no, no. We want to go that way. We're going the wrong way, chief. There we go. Flood across, Funge. Lead the way. I'm going to go straight for his capital. I'm going to go ahead and conquer that. <laughs> don't, don't mind me. Oh. <laughs> Why did I take the tech? Oh, God. Really should not have taken that tech. Jesus Christ, Lathe. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves the 50% cheaper guy. We're going to drop down to Morale of Armies guy on that side of things. And grab ourselves this different guy. Oh, Lathe. That is so dumb. What are you doing, France? That was not my finest moment. Why can't I? Okay. This is... So this is the number one great power, huh? The French! <laughs> Why are the French at war with you? What are you doing? French reconquest of Bordeaux. Okay. I'm assuming you didn't want to join in. Okay, we've dramatically shifted European politics without even knowing the continent of Europe's a thing. Britain seems to be stretching into Normandy, and that scares me. All right, the letter's been taken. Oh, we had Napoli briefly. Oh, I've won the siege of... No, I haven't! <laughs> oh... Ooh, Christianity, plus 12.5% trade power. That's pretty good. So we get access to a weak cult and a strong cult, which is kind of cool. Now we need a cult. Domestic trade power plus 25%. So this guy's going to be plus 70, 37%. I don't know why we're inherently worse as non-Muslims. Okay. Clearly Portugal wants to peace out. Buddy, please. Look, Portugal, I can't peace you out because I, I need Ceuta. Oh, okay. Um, You'll just give it to me. Oh, want anything else from you? Yes, I want Portuguese Brazil. Uh... Honestly, I'd love these provinces, but I can come back for them later. See which is the important thing. The holy law that the prophet used. Torrents of truth, plus two. Uh, <laughs> don't think we've done too well on that one, boys. All right, we've taken Naples again. I'm not going to conquer you. I think you're cool. <laughs> you're new. Do you have cause? Oh my god, you have cause on these guys. Dude, we could vassalize the Mamluks and cause some trouble for the Ottomans. Or, you know, we could not. The interesting thing is that the Spanish still have 130,000 men somewhere. Just not in Iberia. Two more forts to take. Okay. And relations improved with all Christian countries by plus 50. That's nice. Can they, can they see me? Oh, we're talking past each other. Oh, no. They take offense at how we worship the, the, the Christian stuff. Whoops. Well, we used to be Muslims, if that counts. Oh, God, we've lost the siege of Napoli. Yeah, that's more score lost. Embrace the glory of battle. Look at that. Focus on the army. Lose 24 military power until the... And we get further national manpower modified, but even more. Oh my god, the manpower's down to 52%. <laughs> but we get another 5% discipline overall. We can't untake that decision. We're only uh, a gripe. Can, so can you see things like France? You can. I want to see France. Okay, so the British actually managed to keep hold of most of their stuff. But uh, because of us, that's now no longer the case. Colors always look different when you haven't seen them for a while because you've been playing in a different place. All right, come on, Tunis. Bring it home, mate. Excellent. That's as good as we're going to get. We'll peace out Britain pretty soon. That'll do. There we go. 94% against the Spanish. Oh, where'd our diplomats go? We're still an empire, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Monastic Order fixes us at the duchy rank. Oh my god. I, I can't believe I misread that. No wonder we don't have any money. We're so far over the government capacity. That's why our overextension's so bad. Yeah, let's increase the duchy. Let's increase the kingdom. Oh my god, we were an empire and I just completely screwed us over. <laughs> oh my god, that's incredible. Oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. How many of you have just been sitting there waiting for me to realize that? There we go. Gorgeous. So we've got invade Maghreb. Solid Maghreb. Wow, it gives us a lot of claims. But we have actually taken parts of Iberia. The number one great power under our control. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, where I'll leave for today. I would be opening to continue perhaps the most cursed Songhai game in the history of EU4 where I've consistently made the worst possible decisions and it seems to have gone okay. Look at the amount of rebels that are going to rise up. That's kind of an issue, but uh, we have full humanist ideas, so a little bit less than you might think. Hopefully you enjoyed, lads. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe so I know that this is the kind of content you want to see. Otherwise, I do hope you have a good day and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.
Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.